This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account. So we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I am a black man who didn't know enough about my own history. So I began to dig deeper and do my own research. Black history is American history. So I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to Teaching Black History. The story of Nathan Nearest Green. Sometime in the 1850s, when Jack Daniel was a boy, he went to work for Dan Call, a preacher, grocer, and distiller. According to company lore, the preacher was a busy man, and when he saw a promise in young Jack, he taught him how to run his whiskey still. However, in June 2016, the New York Times published a story identifying Daniel's true teacher as Green, one of Carl's slaves. The newspaper reported that historians and locals have known the Green story for decades. Green's story, according to the article, built on the oral history in the thinnest of archival trails, may never be definitively proved. A USA Today article published in July 2017 corrected the spelling of his name and confirmed that Jack Daniel said his correct name was Nathan Nearest Green. Documentation shows that Green was owned by a firm known as Landis and Green, who likely hired him out to call for a fee. Green was one of a few enslaved people who stayed on to work with Call after the Emancipation Proclamation. When introducing Green to an eight-year-old Jack Daniel, Call was quoted as saying, Uncle Nears is the best whiskey maker that I know of. Carl reportedly said to Green, I want Jack to become the world's best whiskey distiller. If he wants to be, you help me teach him. Green served as master distiller, according to one biographer. Only a few years older than Jack, Green taught him all about the steel. Known as Nears Green, or Uncle Nears, he played the fiddle and was a lively entertainer. Green's descendants say this trait was passed down to his son, Jesse Green. Slavery ended with the 13th Amendment to the United States of Constitution in 1865. Daniel opened his distillery a year later and immediately employed two of Green's sons, George and Eli Green. In all, at least three of Green's sons were a part of Jack Daniel's distillery staff. George Green, Eddie Green, and Eli Green. At least four of Nears' grandchildren joined the Jack Daniel team. Ott, Chart, Otis, and Jesse Green. In all, seven straight generations of Nears Green's descendants have worked for Jack Daniel Distillery, with three direct descendants continuing to work there as of November 2017. Nathan Nears Green was married to Harriet Green, and they had 11 children together, nine sons and two daughters. Four of their sons, Louis, George, Jesse, and Eli, are listed in the 1870 census. Seven of the sons and both daughters are listed in the 1880 federal census. Arthur Fine Weaver launched the Nearest Green Foundation to commemorate Green. The foundation is responsible for a new museum, memorial park, and book about his life. In addition, it has established college scholarships for Green's descendants. In July 2017, Uncle Nearest Incorporated created a whiskey honoring the legacy of Nearest Green, debuting as Uncle Nearest 1856 Premium Whiskey. 
It was created by working with two Tennessee distilleries, but not Jack Daniel Distillery. In August, Brown Foreman Corporation, which owns the Jack Daniel Distillery and brand, officially recognized Green as his first head distiller, now called Master Distiller, and added him to the company's website. In October 2017, Brown Foreman added his legacy to its official tours and a large display at the Jack Daniels Visitors Center. <laughs>